Chapter 5. Eggnog. The trio carried Harry out of the hall and to an entrance of the ever-changing staircase. Where do we go now? Elizabeth whispered. Well, better take him to Gryffindor. That way it might be... That way it might soften the blow when we accuse him of being a thief, Thomas suggested. Don and Elizabeth agreed. They climbed onto one of the staircases and rode it to another and another until they reached the Gryffindor common room entrance. Thomas gave the password to open the door and they soon laid Harry on the couch in front of the fireplace. Don started to pace in front of the fireplace. Great. So let me see if I get this straight. We've stolen the guy who just happens to be one of the most important people in the wizarding world who stole our gifts. Does that make us as bad as him, supposedly? Thomas started shaking his head and smiled. That's about right, I'm afraid. Also, I'm glad to see that my pacing has wore off on you. At least he's thawing out from the spell. Elizabeth grabbed a blanket and threw it around Harry as he began to regain consciousness. Who? Where? What? Wait, Thomas? Don? Elizabeth? What are you doing here? But yet, what am, what am I doing here in the Gryffindor common room? Elizabeth sat down next to Harry. Harry, are you saying you don't remember what happened? No, Elizabeth, what do you mean? Well, well, Harry, not only were you trying to avoid all three of us, but mainly me and Elizabeth on the dance floor at the Yule Ball, but you are the key suspect in, within regards to our stolen presence. Thomas, that's absurd. How would you ever think that I would go and steal any, and especially your, gifts? Thomas then came around and showed Harry the glasses they found. Harry examined the glasses and did confirm they were an extra pair of his. At that moment, the Gryffindor door opened and revealed Hermione and Ron standing there. Ron! And Hermione, Don said as he greeted the couple, a little bit more towards Hermione. I hope you three have an explanation to what you have done, Hermione said shocked. Don backed off and brought them over to where Elizabeth and Thomas were and pointed to Harry on the couch. Bloody hell, you guys. You completely disrupted the Yule Ball and ran out of there with one of the most famous wizards alive. Mr. Weasley, we can explain. Harry's is... Harry... Harry is sadly one of, if not the only person, to have possibly stolen our Christmas gifts. We're just trying to figure it out. They've got a point, Elizabeth. We did kind of make a bit of a scene back there. Terribly sorry, if I could just interject here. As the one being accused here, I just want to say I think this is getting just a little repetitive and out of hand. I can assure you I didn't do anything along the lines of theft. It's just the slightest bit of insulting that you would think I would do anything like that. Sorry, Harry. You're right. Let's just see if we can calm down here for a second. If Harry has no recollection of what's going on, could it be the Obliviate charm or, or Polyjuice? Thomas contemplated. Just then, Ron and Hermione went over to a small cabinet in the common room, took out three glasses, and pointed their wands at them. Ron then reached into the cabinet again and pulled out a pitcher of eggnog. You know, it sounds like we are going to be here for a while. We might as well enjoy the time together with this holiday classic. Ron poured the drinks into the three glasses and Hermione handed them out to the three students. As she did this, she returned to Ron's side and whispered the Confundus charm. Just then, the three students were thrown back against the couch as they drank the eggnog. They were soon knocked out on the couch. The Gryffindor door opened once again and Ginny Weasley walked in.